Hi, I'm Rich Frawley, and I'm the Director of Training and Digital Forensic Specialist with ADF Solutions. Today, we are going to collect RAM while running Digital Evidence Investigator on a live Windows computer. It is possible to collect RAM without conducting a scan of the target machine. This demonstration also covers Triage G2 and Triage Investigator. At this point, you have decided on a search profile to use and prepared your collection key. If you are using Digital Evidence Investigator to only collect RAM, a search profile is still required to prepare the collection key or prepare your collection key with the No Predefined Search Profile option. RAM collection is not a process of the search profile or a capture and runs independently of any search profile selected. However, in making your search profile selection, keep in mind the objective of your interaction with the digital evidence in case your process changes. Digital Evidence Investigator accesses files on the target computer without modifying their timestamps. However, it should be expected that running Digital Evidence Investigator on a live system will leave traces related to the insertion of both the collection key and authentication key and the execution of the Digital Evidence Investigator application. Two USB ports are required to complete a scan, one for the collection key and one for the authentication key. Once the scan has started, the authentication key can be removed. A USB hub may be used in cases where the target computer only has one USB port. When running a live scan from a collection key, we will create a RAM dump first. RAM dumps can then be analyzed with the appropriate software, such as volatility. Let's start by inserting the collection key and authentication key. As you can see on this computer, autoplay is set to open the folder automatically. If it is not set, you will need to open File Explorer and the Collection Key device as shown here. Now we execute the start.bat file stored on the Collection Key by double clicking on it. From the main menu, click on Create RAM Dump. You can see the RAM dump immediately starts. It's being saved as RAM underscore dump followed by the date and time in a zip file. The RAM dump will be saved as a bin file to the collection key within a zip file. Once complete, click on the home key. At the main menu, you now have the option to conduct a live scan or image the computer or any attached devices. That's all for this video. Thank you for your time.